So after I've done some serious cutting wood here with the chainsaw, I'm just chilling out here. I built myself a windshield here. Now this is we are like beginning of January in Italy. It's you know I can you imagine what a weather. It's amazing. And this is all forest, you know, you can just I mean belongs to the state, doesn't it? And uh, so I just pick up some wood and sew it all together, yeah? And uh, can you imagine, you know, the f I was just thinking, you know, chilling out here. I was just thinking, the first person in history, you know, to put on a bicycle chain, to, to put a razor blade, weld a razor blade on it, you know? Can you imagine what a feeling that must have been? A razor blade on a bicycle chain? Wow, I don't know who did it actually, but uh, I mean, this is sharp, eh? This is really sharp. You can sew, well, I mean, would be the ultimate tool for the Islamic State boys, eh? So I was listening to the radio, and all the radios, you know, just hear my earphones, and all the radios, they, they just, all the radio stations, they just talk, talk, talk. If it's not the Pope talking about something, that the homos are so nice boys and all that, which he did actually in the airplane a couple of years back. The Pope Francis, his name is, I, I think so. Or if there are no commercials, it's going on for 15 minutes in between the song. So I found only one radio station, which is here in the mountains, which is disappearing all the time. So it's called Virgin Radio. They've got a website, virginradio.it. Uh, and it's only rock music all the time, 24 hours a day. So I'm really chilling out here. And uh, with some Italian Bock beer. Nice. So, yeah. And when they talk all the time, there's no music, you know, I understand it's Italian because it's uh, the only the only thing they say all the time is Italia, Italia, Italia. It never stops, you know, it's like uh, a repetitive ex uh, effect, you know. Incredible, how can they talk? Probably about nothing. You know, should go some, cut some wood, guys. What a feeling that must have been the first time in history, you know, like, awesome, man. Wang. Now let me try it out for you. I, this will be the ultimate tool for the Islamic State guys, actually. Uh, which is actually, well, of course, I know there is no Islamic State, really. It's the Swiss Islamic State. Because the Templars, they were the friends of the of the Arab aristocracy and the Templars, they are the, like, not very European, but they came from, from our part of the world. It's all pharaonic, the, uh, the European aristocracy. And um, the Islamic, the Swiss Islamic State is a caliphate with an emir at the top of it. And uh, so, you know, this would be your ultimate tool. And don't forget that the enemy is Swaziland. Oh, what a feeling, eh? What an invention. A bicycle chain with some razors on it. Well, I mean, you have to come up with the idea, eh? I'm sorry to say so, but uh, why, why is the Islamic or the Swiss Islamic State not using these sort of things? Or like using a dull blade and all that because they haven't really invented the wheel yet you know they're so stuck in the middle ages well i'm your friend you know i, I meet a lot of nice muslims who, who give me food who take me hitchhiking so but i hope as in between friends you allow me to uh to talk straight straight with you guys eh? and uh anyway you know if you if you really be believe in Allah or in God, you shouldn't cut your dick, right? Eh? Because you mutilate the God's creation, really. So, sorry to say so. I mean, you're, I'm still your pal, eh? Muslim dudes. 
no problems with you. I'm not like Britain First or Tommy Robinson. Uh, I'm not a controlled opposition or anything, but I like to have my freedom of speech, right? To say what's right and what's right. And uh, so it's all, you know, Muslim dudes, the enemy is Switzerland, where all the money goes to, all this, the, the Arabic dictators, they bring it to Switzerland. So maybe you can pass by and tell them, say them hello. <laughs> say hello to the Swizzies. But, of course, the, uh, the Islamic State is octagon of the Knights Templars. So, um, unfortunately, you Muslims are never going to do anything about it. It's all... Well, you know what? Yeah. What an invention, eh? Now, the bad thing that none of your guys, you know, none of your guys has ever read the Quran, per, you know, as you should. You know, you're all interested in, like, you know, having a nice Mercedes and you never read the Quran, you know? It says in the Quran, the enemy is the Pharaoh. And I've proven in my video, the Swiss beast, home of the devil, or in French, uh, Enfer Suisse Satanique, or in, in German, Das Schweizer Beast, Basis Lager des Teufels, uh, that Switzerland is the enemy. Pharaoh, that's Pharaoh's base. And the aristocracy, they are Pharaoh. Pharaoh became the aristocracy, okay? So you have to know that Switzerland is the enemy, you know, they are the enemy, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, we also had our prophets, the last prophet actually was uh, Sina van Rensburg, South African, 100 years ago, he made a lot of incredible prophecies which actually already, some of them already happened and came true. Um, a sina, that means a seer. My grandma was a seer as well. And she told me a lot of things too. And uh, I'd rather not tell you now here. So this is um, the last prophet. The last prophet, his name is Sina van Rensburg. Check it out. You know? Stop the... Um, Check it out. Don't be fatalist. Don't be uh, dogmatic. Swissra Baladun Jahannami. Switzerland is the base of the devil in Arabic. It almost looks like Afghanistan here, doesn't it? So, uh, and it says in the Quran, you know, you should read it, that Allah's creation is perfect and you shouldn't mutilate it. No circumcision. Americans too, since 1967. You know, you're not, you're not real Christians anymore. It's an alliance with the devil. Swissra baladun jahanami. Swissra baladun jahanami. Just ask yourself, where does the money go? You know, some Muslim dictators, you know, they steal from the people. Where does it go, eh? On what, what bank do they put it? before they buy the guns and everything in America, you know, but the American people are okay. It's not their problem. They're prisoners in their state as well. Just like the Muslims are, everybody, ev everyone is, you know. And Swiss uh, Rabaladun Jahannami. Switzerland is the base of the devil. It is. It's the home of the Knights Templars. They're friends with the Caliph and the Emir and the Caliphate. The Islamic State, and they're all aristocrats, just like the Templar dudes. The Caliph, the Emir, the Sultan, the Vizier, the, uh, the Sheikh, the Knights Templars, they're all aristocrats and they all come from Pharaoh. And their base is Swaziland. Swiss Rabaladun Jahanami. Swiss Rabaladun Jahanami. Wassalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.
you know it's all natural you know some natural fermentation of some some water you know it has been created like this it's natural there's nothing wrong with a little pint now and then a little beer don't distill it that's not natural this is natural it's a fermentation Allah has created the fermentation and it's natural just don't overdo it you know don't do like me <laughs> don't over so I say goodbye ma to my to everyone and to my Muslim friends I say wassalamu alaikum I have absolutely no problems with you I just want to take talk straight and say what I think you know I'm not a Muslim I'm not a Jew I'm not a Christian and I'd like we all get together and fight the real enemy the real enemy. you know what I'm talking about eh? So let's all get together, all peoples, all races, all colors, all religions, and fight Pharaoh.